Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I want to do a 20 facts about me so you guys get to know me a little bit better. I am an introvert and I don't really like sharing things, personal things about myself. So most of you who even follow me on my other, other social media accounts like Twitter or um, Instagram, I don't really post personal things about me. So I wanted to give you guys some information of who I am. Who is Brittany? Who is Brittany? So my favorite, my all-time favorite color is purple. Um, my room is purple themed, so I have purple walls, purple bed sheets, purple pillowcases. I just love purple. And that has been my favorite color since forever. <laughs> I, that's the only color I've ever, ever really loved. Um, so I've been vegan for two and a half years now. Um, well, almost two and a half years. Um, best decision of my life. Uh, I have one sister, just one sibling. Um, she is 18 months younger than me, so we're really close in age. And um, when we were children, little kids, we were each other's best friends. I mean, uh, we had the same friends. We would be together almost all the time. She's my best friend and something that I'm extremely proud of is that this year she decided to turn vegan as well. So in May she went vegan and she's still living a vegan lifestyle which I am absolutely so proud of her for doing that. Uh, when I was 19 um, I went away to university. I went to York University in Toronto and I did a Bachelor of Social Work and by the time I was in my third year I decided that it wasn't for me. I wasn't enjoying it, I didn't like it, I was really frustrated thinking um, that I had one more year left and then I thought I should finish it and um, after giving it a lot of lot of thought I decided what the heck let's just drop out and um, I really it was really a time for me to figure out who I was as a person and who who I wanted to be and figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. And that's when I found my passion, the vegan lifestyle. Living a healthy vegan lifestyle um, through um, healthy eating, fitness, um, just overall, overall healthy well-being. So that is my passion, so now I am currently um, a student at IIN, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, and I'm doing their health coaching program. So I'm really, really looking forward to that and to completing that and making my passion my career. Um, I want to adopt a pet pig and I want to name her Penelope. Um, I really actually want to adopt a lot of animals. So. Um, I don't ever see myself having children or I don't really want children, it's just not for me. What I would really, really, really love would be to have um, just adopt a lot of animals, a lot of pets, so I don't know if you've ever seen the movie um, Ace Ventura, I want to live like that. So I used to care a lot about what people thought of me and what people um, would think of how I dress, so I was really, really into um, fashion and um, makeup and hair and, you know, getting myself all fancy all the time. So now I have really changed that ever since I um, switched over to the vegan lifestyle. I don't know how it has anything to do with it. I think it was just me rediscovering who I am and what I really, what, what I value most. And I just don't see that being, being really, really important in my life, personally. Um, I don't like putting on a whole bunch of makeup. I don't wear makeup anymore. I just wear a little bit of natural blush. 
Um, I just fluff my hair up after the shower and just leave it naturally wavy. And um, I like it that way. I do my best to bike and walk um, whenever possible. So if I need to go somewhere that's a fairly short distance, it's close by, close to the house, then I will do that. I will um, most likely use my bike and cycle there. I do, however, have a uh, car. It's not my car. My dad has given it to me to use. It is a, uh, a VW Golf. It's really cute. I love it. Um, he, the reason I'm bringing that up is because my dad has given me one of the most awesome gifts I have ever received. He gave me a, a license plate. He purchased me a license plate that says, Be Vegan. and I absolutely love it. I love the double meaning. My nickname is B, B-E-E, -E. and so on the license plate it says B-E-E, -E, vegan. So me as a vegan, and then also telling you to be vegan. I just love it so much. Um, I work part-time at a uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't know if some of you have heard of it. It's a Canadian store. Um, I am a supervisor there, so I do about 20 hours a week. So it's just enough to give me a little bit of income while I'm still a student. Um, my favorite meal or food is banana ice cream. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see a lot of banana ice cream posts because I just can't go, go almost a day without it. It's just, it's so good. It's filling, it is nutritious. It just gives me the energy I need to get through my day. I also love Japanese sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness. I tell you, when they're baking in the oven, the kitchen smells like cake. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, you have to find them. Japanese sweet potatoes. I have really, really vivid dreams. And most of the time, when I wake up, I think, oh my God, did that actually happen? Sometimes I have to really think. I have to sit up in my bed and think, oh my God, was that true? Did that really happen? Um, I just love it though. Being able to go to sleep and think, okay, what am I going to dream about tonight? Um, it's just really exciting. It's like a movie that plays in my head and I think that it's real and then when I wake up I realize it's not. Sometimes that's not a good thing because you realize, oh, that damn, that didn't happen, but I don't know. I really like them. So I used to be obsessed with the Twilight series, you know, um, the books and the movies. Oh my god, when I was in high school, my friends and I, we would read the books together, talk about them during our breaks, our lunch breaks, we would just obsess about it. Um, and I still have the books in my bookshelf. I'm not giving those away anytime soon. Um, I am an optimist, so I look on the bright side of things, and I love doing this, and I, it's just, it, it, I was never really like a forced habit for me. It's just something that I, I naturally do and I love it. Like just thinking of everything as the, the glass half full. It's just, it just makes life so much more enjoyable. <laughs> My favorite music would have to be dance music, pop music, um, and EDM, especially EDM. I just, oh my God. I could listen to dance mixes for hours on end. I just love it so, so, so much. Another thing I love doing is being in nature. Um, whether that's just sitting outside or going for um, a trail walk with my mom's pup. I have to get outside. I have to be outside every single day, even if it's just for half an hour. It just brings me so much peace and just appreciation for, for nature, for life. I have always had cold feet. Um, when I, okay, not when I'm come back for, from a run or done some exercise or if I'm sitting outside sunbathing, sunbath no, but when I'm at home, I always have to wear socks or slippers to keep my feet warm. I don't know why, it's just, I have always, always, always been like that. 
one of my bad habits that some people do find annoying, especially my mom, she'll say to me, um, Brittany, stop doing that. Why are you doing that? It's really annoying. <laughs> um, I twirl my hair. I go like this. I don't know why I do it. I don't even know that I'm doing it most of the time. Um, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. It just bothers other people. So that's why I call it a bad habit. Okay, so the last one is my celebrity crush. And it, it's, it, I used to be embarrassed about it, but I'm no longer embarrassed about it. Because how can you deny this face? <laughs> Zac Efron, my celebrity crush. I just love all of the movies he's in. Anyway, he, I just think he's a really good actor and he's super attractive. Alright, so that concludes the 20 facts about me. I hope you found it interesting and I hope um, it gave you a little bit more of a clue as to who I am and what I like. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will... Um, I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe for more and I have some more awesome videos coming your way.